測定したい場所を瞬時に測ることができます放射性物質のありかを、えーまあ、目に見えるようにする廃炉であったり地域の復興を加速できるようになればいいと思っています The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster occurred in 2011. The radiation dose is still high inside the reactor buildings, and thus it is difficult for people to work inside for long periods of time. Located in the town of Tomioka, Fukushima Prefecture, the Collaborative Laboratories for Advanced Decommissioning Science. Also known as CLADS, was established to solve these problems. In collaboration with organizations around the world, CLADS is conducting R&D for the safe decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. This is Yuki Sato, a researcher in the 3D imaging technology development group. He and his colleagues have developed technology effective for reducing the radiation dose in decommissioning work at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. A Compton camera, successfully reduced in size and weight, has played a role in this. The system is equipped with an optical camera and a gamma ray sensor and can visualize radioactive substances not visible to the eye. A distinctive feature of the camera is that it incorporates two gamma ray sensors and can determine the angle radiation has come from and its energy. The location of radioactive hotspots is visualized by combining this information. An existing Compton camera jointly developed by the private sector and academia was used as a basis. And improvements like reducing weight and realizing operation in a high dose rate environment were made. Regarding the development background of this Compton camera, サーベイメーターと呼ばれる手に持って一点一点を線量率を測る装置が使われていました。しかしどうしてもそのサーベイメーター用いますと広い範囲を測定するのに時間がかかってしまったり、また時間がかかることによって作業員の方が被爆してし
This area is the difficult to return zone. It has a comparatively high radiation dose and entry of people is limited. We want to resolve this situation soon for the residents who hope to return as early as possible. We are also moving forward with approaches like measurement using vehicles in the difficult to return zone. Here we are using the camera's unique ability to visualize radioactive substance distribution in 3D. For locations where vehicles cannot enter, the Compton camera is installed on a drone, thereby enabling measurement over wide areas within the difficult to return zone. At places which previously took a half day or more to visualize radioactive substances, it can now be done in about 30 minutes. まずはこの装置を KF